today I am going to do a little bit of a chatty video and just uh, give you an overview of uh, the journals that I'm using for uh, my ink journal, for my health and well-being journal, and the Hobo Nietzsche, of course. I am enjoying a cup of English breakfast tea, if you would like to join me uh, for this little video. So the first um, little journal I have shown, you know, in other uh, videos before, but this is my ink journal, and I like to keep this um, with the swatching and also the currently inked, and I really like this journal I got from Linden Tree, and it is a buffalo leather, um, and I had ordered it, but then I find that passport size um, journals just in general are too small for me. I like the bigger, I like the A5 just in terms of memory keeping and things, but it worked out perfectly for my inks. So I have four separate booklets in here, um, and I ordered these, actually these are from um, the Goulet Pens, their own version um, of the booklets, and they're all Tomoe River paper. So this first one, as I said, it's currently inked. I just continue every time I uh, change an ink in a pen, I put the date and I put down which pen and what ink. And so it's always current as I flip. If I can't remember, you know, if I flip backwards um, everything that is in here, you know, from the um, from the back is um, what's currently inked in there. So it works out really well. And then for the swatching, um, I have them separated into blues, greens, and purples and yellows, pinks, oranges, and reds, and browns, grays, and blacks. And uh, I've done, you know, you've seen these probably from the other videos, but, but I will do um, a writing sample, a swatch, and then I do this kind of water test um, to see how it does with the water. Um, and like I said before, as I'm doing um, as I'm using it for journals or for, for art pages, I just like to know how waterproof they are. Um, so you can see a lot of these, you know, they really vary depending on, on the ink. And then of course there are a few that are permanent. This one's very permanent. Um, of course all the document inks are this one. This was the Platinum Carbon Black. And um, that one is definitely permanent, and, and you don't want to get it on your clothes or whatever. But, um, yeah, that's kind of nice um, to keep track of them in that way, so I'm enjoying that. So that is my little ink journal. All right. I have a little tea here. this was festive. I don't usually have these little holiday lights on, but um, it looked pretty, <laughs> especially with the rain. So so the second one, I'm not really going to show um, a lot about the inside of this, but I, I really enjoy all of my traveler's notebooks, and I was using those exclusively for many years, and then I started using the Hobonichi, and I really like the Hobonichi A5 for the memory keeping and just, you know, goofing around with uh, colors and inks and and um, pictures and all that kind of stuff. So I continue with that, but I found a new use for this, and it's my health and well-being journal, and I, I really like that. Um, so these are just samples, but I have the pages. I get the, the unmarked pages. Um, this is from Travel's Notebook, and I write in the, you know, the dates, and so I can keep them, you know, I can start them and finish them whenever. I want so that works out really good and then I also like the um, the weekly and um, I've gotten both setups where I have the horizontal setup with with the grid page on the side and also the vertical setup and I think I like this horizontal for for what I'm doing with it here so I'm just kind of keeping track this is my this is more like a bullet journal although it's not exactly um, I keep track of um, just all of my health uh, things, I, my menus, all that kind of stuff, and put them in here. 
And then um, this one, it's just a place for writing. And so is this one. This one is a really fine uh, Tomoe River paper, the really light weight paper. So this one I'm uh, using uh, for more hmm. musings about life and different things like that um, with the really fine fountain pens. And the other one is more just uh, kind of daily observations. So I'm really enjoying that. So that is my traveler's notebook. Um, this one is a second edition. I can't remember when I got this one. It's been quite a few years, but is it's after the Midori one. I have an older one. Actually, if I can sneak through here. This is the, the first one that I got. It's definitely vintage. Um, and it actually is a Midori Traveler's Notebook when they were still the same company. Um, and I still really like that. I actually really like this color the most, but I kind of messed up the leather a little bit, so I tend to use this caramel um, brown one, or camel, sorry. So that's that. And then, of course, you know, the Hobonichi setup, which I'm going to continue. This is an A5. This is a cousin of Vec, um, and I am going to continue with that. Uh, so the the monthly I just use you know for appointments um, writing down appointments and then the weekly you know it's just a quick blurb of what I did just a little diary kind of thing so I can keep track now I'm kind of duplicating that a little bit in the um, traveler's notebook in the health and well-being one so we'll see um, what I do with that I actually got behind on this one because I'm using the other one uh, so anyway and then, here's my fall um, spread. I want to make sure this is in focus. All right, so here's my fall flip. These um, looked like fall colors for sure. Some of the, the glitter's gone um, on here, but I had some glitter um, ink in there for that. And... I've got this in um, focus. So this is just a flip. You know, this is November. We've got one more month um, left in this um, EVEC before I switch to the new six-month blank, you know, pages. Um, this works out really good for me because, as you can see, pretty bulky. This is six months' worth. And um, if it were a year, I don't think I'd make it. <laughs> so I really like having this in here. So when we were in Colorado, we went to a lot of really great ethnic restaurants. And so I was just taking a picture. This is a, um, a Nepali restaurant that we went to a couple times. They have a lot of really great ethnic restaurants there. So I was just, you know, enjoying different things because I love all ethnic food. So... Uh, this was my dad's birthday, and we had a lot of family there uh, to celebrate with him. He was 93 years old, and that's really why we're trying to spend a lot of time with him right now. So, we were still in Colorado there. <laughs> I was just thinking about when we used to have cats and kind of missed the kitty. We've got a rambunctious little Pomeranian now, and he's he's really cute, but he's a little monster. He's quite a handful. <laughs> he's a very, uh, gosh, energetic guy. So this one, um, I you know I forgot that I was going to take out different ink samples for everybody to see. Well, of course. Um, I forgot to get them out. I'm not sure if I can get them out as I go along here. Um, I've done a review of this one before. or I showed a journal page, actually, of this. Um, actually, I'm not sure if this is the Neko Yanagi or its uh, sister ink, um, the blue one, which is the Haha, -ha, the Manyo Haha. -ha. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. 
I think I had, I think this was the Haha, -ha, um, because it's blue, bluish. But I love the ink. It's just, I don't know if you can see that, but you can just see it through the bottle. Uh, it's just so beautiful. And, and I love the bottle because I love square um, glass bottles. Those are my favorite. So. Anyway, this is also, um, I think this was, this could have been my new green gold ink. That's this one. Uh, from Aurora and Klingner. Could be that. Just like to doodle a little bit in between. Um, this was a really fun day. Um, my my dad's neighbors are really fun. The guy just got back from doing a marathon in Moab, Utah, and he was really happy. He had his little um, award. It was quite quite an accomplishment. Um, anyway, they were really fun. Um, yeah, I think actually, now that I see it, this is definitely the Manyo Haha, the blue, because I see now that this is the Manyo, um, Neko Yanagi, the purple. Uh, so they're similar, but, and they're just both really beautiful. I just love laying them down and seeing the sheen. And this is a gorgeous picture that um, my friend actually took of um, this area where we live. This was still um, in Colorado. My husband and his brother took a pretty strenuous hike, um, pretty high up where they could look, you know, look around all over. It was called Bear Peak. So that was a, a photo of that. And this is just some stamps that I got in the mail, actually, from something I ordered from uh, Mitts at My Life Mitts, the stationery selection. Yeah, stationery selection box. This was not a monthly box. It was just something I special ordered. Um, so that was that. Was that. So this day, um, we're leaving for home. Our dog, Oscar. Um, really likes to travel. He just loves, he has no problem traveling and he was in his little carrier in the back of the car. Uh, so anyway, we had, you know, everything was fine on the road. Uh, didn't have any bad weather or anything. This was, this is just a, um, a little card that I got from Pentiques, Aaron at Pentiques, and he is the one that restored all of these another couple but all of these uh, vintage fountain pens from Schaefer um, he's the one that restored them and he did a great job they you know I've done lots of videos on them but um, he really did a really good job with everything and he was really quick I I sent them when we were in Colorado and got them back when we were still there so anyway shout out to Aaron at Pantiques This is um, part of the, the special order. This is from Courtney Diaz um, at Little Raven Inc. But it was a stationary selection where she collaborated with um, the Superior Labor. Not sure where I put that. I just ordered a little bag from them. So that's what that was. Some of you may have seen my other um, video but I won this wonderful Twisby swipe from uh, Alisa at Inky Rocks. And if you haven't seen her channel, um, it, you may really enjoy them. They're, it's Her channel is so great. Um, it's just beautifully done, and it's really fun because she lives in Tokyo, and so she sees all of these uh, stationers. She tours all these stationery stores and has all these products that we're not able to get like this one. This is, um, this color is not available here in the U.S. Um, but it's really fun and um, I was just really excited um, that I won that. So that was great. I think it's a glitter ink. 
sample that I had. Uh, and this is also a sample, a really beautiful blue. Um, oh, actually, no, this is my Kompeki, um, Pilot Hiroshisuku Kompeki. I had another sample that was really bright blue, too, and I got mixed up. That's why I have to keep track uh, in my currently inked for my pens, especially. But this was just talking about my um, my last little Schaefer pen that I did a review on called the Dolphin. Oh, these were a couple deer that were just wandering around in the in the front yard. I'm sure a lot of you have deer wandering around in the front yard. But anyway, that was just a little picture. And on uh, this day, we had, um, our son stayed um, and took care of the house and everything for us when we were gone. And we missed his birthday, so we went out for Thai food when we got back. And then I was really happy because we have trumpeter swans that come in here from November to February every year. And they're so beautiful. I love seeing them flying in in the sky. They're just a pure white. And so they... They're just bright white, you know, in the in the gray or blue sky. So they returned. They like to eat potatoes out of the potato fields around here. So I was happy to see them. And this was Thanksgiving, and it was really fun. We had a friend over that we haven't had over for a couple years because of COVID. So that was fun that we got to see him again. This was just an easygoing day, you know, lots of um, leftovers and, and things. Oh, this one, you can't really see it too well anymore. Um, now I'm thinking that might have been the other violet. No, I don't think so. Anyway, this one, I'll probably have to do a review on this. Um, but this is Robert Oster Violet Dreams, and it's a Shake and Shimmy ink. And I think it was a limited production, and it has a lot of silver um, glitter sparkle in it. Um, even though that's not... I can see it a little bit, but it's not picking up too, too well there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, Saturday... This is, yeah, this is much brighter than that other one. This is the Cassia. This is another Roar and Cleaner. Um, Cassia Violet. And it is a really brilliant, um, just very pure purple. So that will be fun. I have a couple um, pens inked up with that right now. And this is today. And this was another little shimmer ink sample that I got. Um, again, I'm not sure if you can, if that will pick it up or not there. Hope everybody is doing well. And I'll be doing some other posts, um, inks and pens. Like so many people have uh, the ink vent calendar from Diamine. And I'm really getting excited to start opening it up going to try to do something a little different than just the daily um, with the colors. I'll probably do like a five-day holiday, um, some kind of something. I have a couple really special pens that I ordered, one in particular um, for Christmas, and it is a Bennu um, mistletoe, and it looks just really gorgeous. So that's going to be really exciting. That's the, the newest pen that's that's in the works. So when I get those, I will show you um, all of those and I'll probably do a few more journal pages here in a while. So thank you for watching. Um, if you liked this, please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.